Blessings, Starshine. This is Smadar from Song of Stones. And I have here with me today a very special stone being who has a crystal blessing for you. And a crystal blessing is a moment of deep connection with the stone being in order to receive its energetic gift. You can think of it as a, a meditation of sorts where you enter into a deep still space and in that moment you are really as one with the crystal that you're connecting with. So today I have another water crystal. Yesterday we received a gift from beach stones and this is also one of the beach stones that I have here. It's actually called uh, sea slag or beach slag or um, slag stone. I don't know there's lots of different names for it but basically what it is is run off from the smelting factories, iron smelting factories along um, the shoreline. What happens is over centuries, the sea transforms that toxic sludge into these beautiful stones. And something else that's special about this particular one is that when I was holding it, it a piece or pieces, you can see, broke off in my hand. They just came off. Oh, and there goes one. Okay, I'll get that after. Um, basically... These, and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus in, zoom in a little bit, and hopefully you can see the rainbow in this. It's really beautiful, and I think a lot of there we go really beautiful. I think you see rainbows a lot when um, when there's when it's there's oil somewhere there like a, a petroleum like you see that if you ever see an oil puddle on the street or in a garage or something you'll see a rainbow or CDs you'll see that and I believe that comes from um, the plastic that it's made from, which is made of petrochemicals. Don't quote me, I could be wrong, just my um, just observation from and contemplation. I like to. I like to delve a little bit into the reason that things happen. So um, this sea slag is an amazing stone for this time in our society because what the earth has done with this chemical runoff, this sludge, is something really beautiful, yes, but also um, it gives us 
an insight into what's possible and what we can do to help our earth, really help ourselves because the earth already knows what to do. She just needs to be allowed to do it. Um, how we can help ourselves with the cleanup, with the transformation, with taking all our toxic waste and turning it into something, um, something beautiful and something that is no longer toxic. Because that's the key, right? So that's what I'm feeling from this beautiful um, slag crystal. Not a very pretty name, right? But look at the beauty that's there. And not just the stone itself, but the beauty of the transformation it's undergone. It's really really something special so if um, if you were looking to transform something toxic in yourself into something beautiful and something that will not affect detrimentally affect your well-being this is the one of the the uh, stones to go to, to connect with. So let's, um, let's connect now to this uh, gift that this crystal is sending us by grounding into the earth first, by feeling our deep connection to all that is and feeling those invisible ethereal threads that are connected deep into the center of the earth. And then Turn your attention to your breath, watching and noticing how it moves through your body without needing to change it or without judging it. Just stay with it for a moment and follow it as it circles in through your nose or your mouth and flows through your entire body before it circles back out. And then again. And when you're ready, open up your heart and say yes to the gift that this crystal has to offer wherever in the world you happen to be and whenever in time you happen to be receiving it. Imagine that it is happening in real time because as far as the crystals are concerned it is. And then see if you notice a shift. Turn your attention inwards to your body and see if you notice anything shifted. See if you're sensing anything in your physical body or any emotions rising up or are you hearing words or are you seeing images 
How is it showing up for you? How are you receiving this beautiful gift? There's no right or wrong way and sometimes we don't feel anything at all and it doesn't mean that we haven't received the gift because as soon as we said yes, it was ours. Takes a little bit of trust at the beginning and as you connect with these crystal blessings on a continual basis and connect with the stones in this way, you'll start to feel more and more and you'll start to notice more and more. It's just, it's just inevitable. So take this beautiful gift and see if you can transform something that was once toxic in your life into something magical and beautiful. And let us know if you do. We send you lots of love and many, many, many blessings.